Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I made the angles for my Smash Bros videos. So angles like this, I'll show some examples here. The characters aren't moving, it's still, and my camera's flying around them. I use 20XX, but I know there's better options to use Slippy, which is a way you can record your footage and then actually go in and replay it with different angles where the camera's moving. But I'm going to show you my examples here, so if you follow along you can make angles just like these ones. Let's say this is the clip here we want to get angles for. So I would notice the fox is neutral, the falcon is green, and we're on FD. All right, now that I'm in my computer here, we're going to be using Dolphin Emulator, which lets me play emulated games from GameCube and Wii on the computer. If you can go to smashladder.gg, you'll be able to find this exact one here. But I'm going to be opening Project Slippy. In Project Slippy, we're going to be using the 20XX modded version of Melee because when I pause, I can then use a free cam option rather than regular melee. It's kind of locked or tracked on the character, so I can't go free cam. So I'm gonna be opening that. Now there's a few things because this is the modded version um, we need to adjust. Basically, the map that we're using is Final Destination, but in this modded version, they have the colors changed. So I gotta go to the debug menu, which is only in the modded one, go stage mods, rainbow FD, turn off. That's only because FD is the one we're using. Any other map, it's fine. So now that I'm here, I want to be the regular Fox, because Fox is the best character in the game, 20XX. But because this is the character I want to get the angle for. Now with 20XX, the next the next computer here is going to be a CPU, which will be the green Captain Falcon I'll be getting the clip on. If I put him at player 2, he'll be utilizing all the hacks and mods within 20XX which um, can be annoying because then he tries to kill you really fast. So you could put him on player four over here, basically uh, grab him, change him to the right color, leave him there, and then try to recreate the angle that happened and just hitting pause right when you get a close to the same clip. But we're gonna do a little more crazy than that. We're gonna do it nicer than that, whatever. Uh, we're gonna go character two, so we're gonna utilize the, the hack pack here. Hack pack, change him to the right color. Now I wanna change, so I'm going up, sorry, into options here. I'm gonna change it to 99 stocks, and then go down to additional rules, and turn off the time, time limit, just so we have all the time in the world to do what we're doing here. Now I'm gonna go into FD. You're gonna wanna pause immediately, because look at him, he's gonna try to kill you. Either way, you wanna pause, hit down on the D-pad. You wanna control player two, so I'm gonna go sideways to player two, which is the computer. I'm gonna go down to 20XX CPU type, Change default to state. Now he should stand still like the computer he is. Now I'm going to get him to a higher percent, basically so there's more knockback on his character so I can recreate the angle better. I'm gonna push him over to the edge because that's where the clip was. Now what's nice about 20XX is they have save states. So if I hit right on the D-pad, it'll save this exact positioning here and you can prove it by running around, doing something. If I hit left on the D-pad, it takes me back there. So now basically I want to recreate either the up tilt or the back air. So let's hit him up, hit him up. He's going to, his DI changes every time. So the direction that he goes kind of changes every time because the computer's reacting to it. So that's why you just have to reset it and try to get one where he goes similar to the way you had it. So now I want to pause and get like the up tilt action. So basically he gets up tilted in the shot. So I want to angle like that. So because I pause, I can now rotate my camera using my gray stick or the regular stick. But you can see it's kind of locked on Fox because that's the character I was. But because we're in the 20XX version, I can actually use the yellow stick, the C stick to move my camera freely. Now the controls, I'll be honest, they suck. They're not very good for this, but that's okay. They're good, they're good enough for what I want. So say I want an angle like that where it shows I'm getting up tilted. Now you'll notice that when you pause, there's this player one pause, this LRA start at the bottom reset, all that stuff I can't get rid of. So I know I'm gonna be scaling in to hide that stuff. So when knowing that, or cropping in either way, when knowing that I don't want um, Captain Falcon to be covered by it, cause I, and I can't think that's gonna be a good angle because clearly Fox is gonna get cut and Captain Falcon's gonna get cut because I'm scaling in. So basically I wanna get them both somewhat in the center of the screen so I know they'll be in there. And then I use the gray stick to slowly turn and get the angle I want. You can also combine the gray and the, the C stick, but just know the camera movements somewhat suck and it's very hard to get like a good one. Do something like this, and I know both of them, some will be in the shot there. You go up and down using the momentum 
that he hit because he hit him going straight up so I could uh, pretend to go up with him and you could cut to going up because that's the way he hit him. Um, one thing I would definitely suggest is when you're doing this to add motion blur to these angles, not to the gameplay. Don't ever try to take away from the Smash gameplay. You want that to be clean and crisp in the way it is in the game. But these angles, I would add motion blur just because it makes the shot look better. So yeah, just play around with it until you get angles you like. Um, keep testing it, moving both sticks to find different angles. Remember, adding something in the foreground, like the floor here, makes it more dynamic, adds that parallax, and it looks like there's a lot of action going on if this floor is ripping by, especially when you add motion blur to it. Then you can try to get some crazy angles by adding both C sticks, both sticks together. And that's basically it. So I kind of just free roam around getting the angles I want, playing with it, maybe sometimes um, re-getting the positioning. So now I want them to get them with the back air. So I'll get up here. Okay, well he's gonna die, but you could then, okay, I paused it too soon, but you're basically timing the pause. So you hit him with a back air here, which could be an angle. It looks like he's a little too deep into him there. And then again, just playing around with both sticks to find an angle you like. So I'm rotating here, they're both in the middle. That could be useful, and if you go really fast and add motion blur, this could look really cool. Something like that. Basically, that's how I record angles. One thing I will note is Slippy is now another modded version of the game that people are using in tournaments, and what it does is it actually records the whole game, and not just in the gameplay um, perspective, but it'll let you go in and get angles itself. I haven't experimented with it, but basically, my angles are frozen, like the characters aren't moving, right? They're frozen like this. But in Slippy, you could get a camera angle and the characters will keep moving. So that'll be the future of getting angles with everyone moving around. And that's something I'll look into eventually and do an ang or a tutorial for. But personally, I like this. Um, this is the way I've done it for the last while. And that's the tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll work on some other tutorials soon. Any of you uh, Halo guys that are looking for a new game to play or want to play something uh, just basically the best game ever made, uh, I would highly suggest learning Melee. It's very uh, mechanically demanding, technical, and it really lets you express yourself. I would argue it's the best game I've ever played. Um, there's a high learning curve. Like, it's hard to get into. Like, I've been playing for years, and I just get destroyed by people all the time. But uh, that's almost what makes it fun, right? It's having, uh, having the game be difficult and basically giving you all these options. Like the mobility, and I like to say that uh, movement's one of the most important things in games because it's what kind of lets you uh, express yourself and move how you want. And this game really lets you <laughs> do whatever you want with mechanics-wise with all the little things in it. Wow, I just clanked with that. Oh, I was trying to disrespect them. Come on, come on, come on. Pretty high and could be used as a. Our stage goes for the up throw here. Into the up tilt, into another one. Oh, wow. 